Previously on Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. People who my daddy likes become really great, mostly. You're gonna be great, too. I bet my dad can beat up your dad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, Yasha, let's try to keep it cool, man. Come on, dad, fight it. I say, sir, for my son's honor, I must challenge you to a duel. Really? You want some of this, motherfucker? You want some of this? Come on, come at me. Come at me, see what happens. See what the fuck ah! And now on to the next page. Sneak a bee. Back with some more. Paper Mario, the thousand year door. When we last left off, holy mother of God, that chapter was unbelievable. <laughs> that chapter was great. Holy crap. It kind of makes everything that came before it feel lesser, to be honest. Especially chapter one. Or, well, yeah. The, the chapter where we went to uh, uh, Petalburg. That one definitely is by far the weakest chapter. That's like, seems like such a basic bitch. I did like chapter two though. I, I liked the mechanics with the little dudes and they were also cute and stuff. And just the, the puzzles in the tree and how they fought with the other little dudes in their own little war instead of you having just beat them yourself. And I don't know, there were a lot of clever things about that that I did really like. And also the funny guy with the beard. But this one just like, holy shit, just everything about it just screams unique and fun and interesting had a whole layer of like you know hidden secret shit going on characters doing stuff underhanded things plot twists uh goofy characters he interacted with inside the coliseum that you made friends with then literally fucking die that's right king k's still dead and so is that ghost guy they're dead i didn't do anything to save them i left them to demon die <laughs> what the fuck i'm actually probably gonna go back there because i do want to I want to make sure they didn't come back to the life or something. Make sure King K isn't just like, hey, man, it's fine. I I'm cool. I didn't really die. It's, it's all good. You don't need to keep having nightmares, Nico. Okay. Okay, good. King K. I got someone needs to someone needs to patch King K back into this game, right? It's the only way to make the nightmare stop. But it was it was super good. I'll be curious to see if any of the remaining chapters can can meet the uh very high standard that chapter three just just did I, I see why a lot of people apparently consider that like their favorite chapter but yes you guys did inform me um so basically what you're sort of supposed to piece together because the game doesn't actually tell you is that jolene actually is that woman that was at the bar who i kept thinking was like a, a different person no she was that person that was out there who gave me the hammer and was helping me out and talking about prince mush Oh, <laughs> oh, of course. I, you know, when you look at how similar they look, honestly, because they both had the pink, the pink uh, mushroom, right? And the little bit of hair that came down. The one in the bar, her hair was a little different in the front, but it was still basically that same bit of blonde hair. I should have really pieced it together. I mean, I know it's like, well, all toads look the same for the most part, aside from just occasionally different colors, but I think she's the only character in the game we've actually come across that had the pink head. Aside from her brother, which, by the way, you guys told me apparently the HD texture pack did something funky with <laughs> with the uh, Prince Mush's eyes. For some reason, they were much smaller than they actually were. There's normally they're like regular toad eyes. I don't know if that was intentionally done by the the texture people or something who uh, who did this. I have no idea, honestly. Maybe just for laughs, because it did look kind of funny. It made his eyes kind of derpy. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it made him more endearing, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe that's what, what he was. they were going for. But it didn't really make him look like a uh, hardened warrior of the arena, did it? <laughs> He's like, hi there, guys. But so Jolene had been going into the bathroom, right? Going down the toilet, uh, coming up the other end, switching into a different outfit, and going out into town so that she could get away from Grubba and was pretending to be this other person, right? Just to unwind. Um, and also that way she was able to, to help me by giving me like the hammer and give me other tips and things. I see. Holy shit. Holy shit. That is, and I like the game doesn't even tell you that, right? You, you're left to figure it out yourself. Super cool. It's really funny just because this chapter really was just kind of a boss gauntlet, right? In a lot of ways, or just a gauntlet of enemies. Um, but they did such a good job of keeping things fresh and spicing things up and having things change every time you complete a fight, you know? Oh, uh, by the way, you guys did tell me, apparently though, I did, uh, I did miss out of, on a, uh, an extra moment where if I, instead of going to the arena where Grubble was, if I had actually stepped back out of the lobby, 
I would have had a very similar instance with where Rockhawk was surrounded by his fans. I also would have got surrounded by fans, which I could have hammered away. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for uh, a moment where I could uh, to try to, to hammer them away. Ah, oh, damn. That sucks. I wish I'd realized that. But that is kind of the nice thing, I think, in a lot of ways about a game like this where there are clearly a lot of little moments that you could easily miss. Uh, it gives you some, re some replay value, right? You go back through the game, you're like, oh shit, oh, I didn't know this happened when th I decided to explore, which is why I kept trying to like go back. I try to like do things where like, okay, uh, I beat a I beat an arena fight. Let me go check the Grubba's office, make sure there's not some extra bit of fluff dialogue. Cause this game clearly loves throwing in some shit that you could easily miss, but if you find it, oh, it's a treat. Uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, Dusty Old Crow said, Mario joins Sojiro and Gerald at the weekly dad meeting. Sojiro, my son's a convicted criminal and ostracized from society for a crime he didn't commit. Gerald, my son's an emotionless, ruthless mercenary who grew up without knowledge of society. Maya, my son's pretty great. He's a dinosaur. <laughs> Oh my god, I know, right? May we all be so lucky that our son ends up growing up being a fucking dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> I get around his back. He doesn't even care what I do it either. <laughs> god damn it. You guys are too funny sometimes. I, I read this and just started laughing my ass off. <laughs> it's, it's pretty great as a dinosaur. But Dusty O'Croft, thank you so much for your hilarious comment. As for that reason, you are comment today. Oh yeah, I guess also said apparently the... <laughs> The uh, the common fan theory about why the Iron Harriers, who seemed who were seemingly invincible, right? Like, how the hell do they not get to beat Rockhawk, right? Like, how do they not get to to be number one in the arena? Apparently, the prevailing fan theory is because they didn't fulfill any of Grubba's uh, conditions because they were too stupid. <laughs> you know what? I uh, I like that fan theory. That's like it's like one of those things you just think about afterwards. Like, wait, why did they? If they're invincible, how did they not get to the start? But <laughs> if that is the case, that was really intended by the developers. Then fucking bravo. I don't know that. I think I might just be one of those situations where it just kind of it just kind of happened to work out. Like they didn't really think that far ahead, but like, oh yeah, I guess I could answer it. Yeah, yeah, it's actually kind of funny. It is. <laughs> oh yeah, it's another thing, and I realized this when I went back to edit. The super hammer actually doesn't do more damage than a regular hammer. It can just knock the enemy into the person behind them. So it's only really effective if there's more than one person in a fight. I kept using it in some of these one-on-one -on -one fights, and yeah, I wasn't doing anything extra, so. Just wasting FP. All right, so I imagine we're gonna be hopping back into Princess Peach and she's probably gonna send another message to Mario. And then maybe we'll be hopping back into Bowser who's, I, I oh, we got to fight Bowser too. That was so cool. I love that he just, I actually thought the whole game, Mario was never gonna run to Bowser. Like he was always gonna be a step, step behind him. But we actually did run into him and we fought him and he beat him up and he was kind of humiliated. So I'm gonna wonder where he's gonna be after this. He's gonna be like in the juice bar, like, <laughs> drinking next to Jolene. He's like, God damn it. F piece of shit. Fucking Gonzalez. I mean, Mario. Uh, hit me again, barkeep. Uh, sir, I think you've had it. Hit me again. God damn it. Uh. Then he goes, goes home with Jolene and they fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that would be hot. Yeah. All right, let's get back in the game. So. We got three of the crystal stars. Only a few left and oh, there are the three. Goofy sisters. Bill Dam, tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. You do understand that we x nots must open the door first, do you not? Me? <laughs> well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. And not end up as just hilarious comic relief. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. Me <laughs> Let's away, my lovelies, Marilyn Vivian. Oh, girl. God, those three are weird. <laughs> Especially that old giant big-nosed bitch. Doing? I should be in the shower naked. I mean, no doubt about it. I'm officially bored. <laughs> Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. Wonder, is it safe? Come see me and get naked, please. Oh my, that must be tech again. 
I like these moments too, just because I think just something about something about Princess Peach's character is sort of funny and charming because she's sort of I don't know she definitely you don't really get the sort of the the funny spoiled princess vibe because she's kind of like relying on Mario so much and just kind of but like also just the fact that she's like doing stuff on her own you know and has this weird thing going on with her computer. But first, let's go get naked. We gotta do it every chapter, guys. It's incredibly important. I swear to God, Tech's watching her too. Mind if I take a quick, quick rinse? There's gonna be a point to this. I'm, I'm, I'm holding out hopes that there's gonna be some incredible, important story reason for this. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill Tech because he, he had a digital erection that sucked all of the data from his body. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 no, taking away from brain power, brr, and then he fucking just explodes and the exit opens up. That's all I'm hoping. How refreshing, I feel like a new princess. And she looks kind of cute when she puts the hair up like that. I swear to God, though, like that shit back there, though, that's exactly the reason why there's so much hentai of Princess Peach, right? Come on. <laughs> Princess Peach is like lowballing shit, all right? Goodbye. All right, now that's some, that's some truly specific stuff, I feel like, right? But Princess Peach is like, pfft, that's some basic bitch shit, right? Da, 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 da. This goofy song, it plays in her sections too. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go to where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. <laughs> you will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? <laughs> so look at the sassy look on Princess Peach's face. I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? <laughs> you imagine correctly. <laughs> Just ignore him, Princess Peach. Actually, technically, she probably uses to try to get out of here. All right, fine. I get, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to go ask this Grotus? I will tell you. What in the world is Tech thinking? I mean, honestly, he sure is a weird computer. Oh, God damn it. I don't know what the question is. Well, Vendra, I must be in the wrong place. Oh, is that the elevator he wanted me to go in? La, 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 la. By the way, I uh, I do just want to say real quick, just because while I have your attention, uh, I appreciate you guys' patience with the whole Council of Voices thing. I know it's taking me a while, probably a bit longer than it has in the past. Um, please just wait a moment. There are currently soldiers in the vicinity. It's just been a very tough script to put together. Um, and, and like the past couple of days, I really was like, felt very creatively driven to, to get through it, you know, to like, to like all the words were just coming out of my brain really easily. So, um, that's why I decided to not post yesterday. So I do appreciate your patience. Hopefully I will be finished, uh, soon. It's, there's a lot going on and hopefully once you see, you'll understand why this was taking a bit longer, but I promise the wait will be worth it. And once the script is done, I'll be able to get back into doing, uh, regular, uh, regular daily videos. So. Huh? La 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 Hey guys! Princess Peach is about to get in the shower! Come on, get over here! Oh shit! Oh shit! Let's go, go! Now, Princess Peach, it's the room with the green lamp very near where you disembark the elevator. Uh, okay. Okay. I want to make sure it's like... That's some op optional shit. Actually, you know what? Just just in case. Just want to make absolutely certain. It's not some funny shit. Oh, wow. It's kind of... This goes pretty far over here. Ah. 
Uh, nope. Oh god. Please change here. Quickly, the soldier's uniform should be in the a locker. You just want to see me get naked again. Yes, please. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Can that really fit on me? Yes, that is correct. about this it's awfully tight and it kind of smells a bit Whew, who knows how but i got into it i could barely breathe though am i actually gonna look like oh my god i bet i look perfect <laughs> i got the same little funny footsteps sound when i walk with this too da, da, da. you know tech's seeing this right now right you know he's seeing me get naked this is the this is all part of the plot. Oh, shit. I can go anywhere now. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is this where gross... Oh, this is where gross is. No, I don't want to end it yet. Now, nah, let's go talk to other people. Na, 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 na. Like this guy. Hey, Slacker. What part of Do Not Leave Your Post do you under don't you understand, huh? Huh? What? Go again? Bro, are you a break? Before I carry on. Damn. You know, if you don't mind me saying you have some very nice cleavage going on today, soldier. I mean, what? Sorry. I, I, I don't know why I said that. I, 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 I've got to go. Huh? You, you smell like, you smell like, dude? What a weird smell. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> you smell nice. That's just wrong, dude. What the fuck? Why you smell like flowers and shit? Nah, 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 nah. It's the blue guy. What, what, what is it? If you have nothing to say, then I don't speak to me. I'm busy. See, I even got a busy X dot clipboard here. And it says, do not disturb. Uh, okay, I can't go this way. All right. And I think it might be everything then. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, it's a very long hallway. Thank God I had the power to increase time. I'll look around this room real quick too. I don't know why the computer can't just ask him, right? Shouldn't there be like, the computer be like right here. Ask him himself. Ha, ha, ha. Hello there, sir. Excuse me, Sir Grotus. Yes, what is it? Speak. Why do you sound different from all the others? Why don't you have a Larry voice? You larry -less thing, you. Uh, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm, something is wrong with your voice, x Not. Gulp! Perhaps I have a throat lous lozenge. No. L wait, what? Lozenge? No, well, never mind. No, oh, about Princess Peach. I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in that room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly, you understand. Tell the others as well. But, uh, why? Why in the world are we keeping her here, then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impeded worm. Concentrate on getting the legendary treasure. That is all I require of you. We ex nots need that treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure. Is that, is that what the computer wanted me to ask? What are you blathering about now? Hmm. Something is odd about you. N n no, n nothing odd. Uh, so, Roger, or whatever. B -b please excuse me. x nots No! You got a right. You're supposed to say Cobra and fuck it up like you always do. You must reverse the speech. Get her. Ah! Oh, that was unnerving. Nerving. All stuff about conquering the world. Talk about creepy. I guess that was what. So, okay, he's at, he wanted me to ask us. I guess Tech feels bad about keeping it, keeping her here, right? So he wants to know what the purpose of doing it. I wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. All right, time to get naked again. Yes, please. <laughs> Seriously, I'm, I'm just expecting to see, like, like a ca big giant camera just looking straight down into the dressing dressing area. Oh, for this thing. <laughs> Ooh, good old pink dress, my favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? I better get back quickly. That was easy. Tech, you terrible machine. So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquer the world? How could you? That's a mean thing to do. 
Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are so many, there are, there are many sorrows, sure, but there is also a joy. Is that so? Is it like your boobs? That kind of joy. Uh, sure. <laughs> Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I am afraid I cannot answer. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. What? I, I mean, what? Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. Please go ahead and tell everybody about my plans for world domination. Nothing wrong with that. Send it this instant. You big meanie! The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have had a busy day. Go back to the room, please. And get in your jammies. Oh, okay. Good night, Princess Peach. I love you. <laughs> Save all your progress and get ready for hilarity. As we can jump back into Bowser's big horny adventure. All right, what's he up to? Oh, he actually is coming here. Hey, assholes! That's things humongous. Everybody, hide now! Save yourselves! Hey, stupid cheating Mario! Who would have thought that fool would have been in Glitzville? Piece of shit! Did you say something, your rudeness? Uh, no! Nothing at all as far as you know! Shut up! Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Remind me of little shrimp bites and Long John Silvers or something! Those were some cuties! One of them should know about the Crystal Star! They fear you, so they're all hiding! Let's find them and get them the get the info we need! Yeah, I'm gonna get them good! I'm gonna do this shit to them! Ah! Yeah, I gotta shake the bushes. Oh my god. I see you. Hey. It, you're scary, Mr. Big Giant Bad Breath Monster. Don't worry, but duty, your big brother is here. Look, go, go, go. Get through this. Get out of here, asshole. Find them, my lord. Find Nidden Beauties and make them tell us where the treasure is. Look, that grass club over there looks suspicious, your wretchedness. Hey. I see you, dickhead. Hey. Yikes. This guy is big and bad. He's large and in charge. Damn straight I am. Ah! Ah! Can I fit in this thing over here? Hey. Hey. Get out of here. <gasps> oh, God. Be gone. Oh, shit. I fought with the wrong old, old puny. Yeah, what are that bad? Aren't you? One of those evil doers. You want a crystal star? Ha! See, I knew it. This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is. Tell us. How rude! Ugly thing! How dare you, you wretched crow! I'm the great beauty elder. Hey, my my heart! Don't startle me like that. I'm too old for this stuff. There's too many old characters in this game. God damn it! I'm gonna eat you. You're both too old. Heart. It's hag versus hag. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's all right. I'm thinking it to myself, so I shouldn't get a big reaction. Ahem. Oh, uh, yes, little Bowser. Look as if you're just dying to say something. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Ah, uh, no. No, like... No, like, no, like. Let's move on, shall we? You, Elder Acting, where's the Crystal Star? I don't want to, but I will try to eat you. Try. You look really wrinkly and like a raisin. It probably tastes like one, too. Oh, I hate raisins. Don't try pulling rank again. You, your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Huh, hag thing. Honestly, in any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. No, oh, what? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustachio man in Mario. He said he was collecting the crystal star treasure to rescue some princess. What did he call him, Princess Pinch? Yep, yeah, it was tough to say that lucky lass. Ah! <laughs> It's Mario, not Mario. 
And it's not Princess Peach. Pinch, it's her name is Princess Peach. But your senility is beside the point. The princess and treasures must be connected. Maya's trying to get it all. Treasures, princesses, does this greed never end? The jungle! Both Princess and Peach and the Crystal Stone belong to me! To me! If I find him, I'm gonna finish him off once and for all! I swear to fucking God! I'll fuck him the fuck up! God damn ah, ah. <laughs> I love Bowser. I love Bowser in this game. I wanna s I, makes me wanna play the inside stories because I wanna s I wanna see more Bowser hilarity. I wanna see where he's the he's like the main character. Fuck Mario and everybody else. Just, just me. Oh my god, Rockhawk, what the fuck? I thought I you died. <gasps> DK! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> oh, thank fuck, guys. Thank fuck. The nightmare should finally stop. They can finally stop, guys. Holy shit. Oh my god, I'm actually so relieved. I thought he died. I don't give a shit about the ghost. He could have died for all I care, but King K didn't die. He's fine. He's fine. So now you must leave. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the crystal stars. Good luck. Gonzalez, I want to tell you, Rockhawk ain't gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the lights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. And I'm never, ever gonna lose again. Remember, when I rocks you, you rock back. Listen, G-Money, thanks for everything, man. Even if you didn't leave my dead rotten corpse in that room upstairs, but that's all right. I ain't gonna hold it to you. You're the nicest dude I ever met. If you ever need it, I got your back. Me? I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K is bad, baby. And it's all thanks to you, dog. You're my boy, Mario. Now the grub is out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the glitz pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. Uh, okay, cool. You have tons of fans, and they'd absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. Uh, okay. Sweet! Another crystal star! That's three, right? Even though I wasn't here for the first two. We better... We better roll back to Rogue Park, don't you think? Alright, go. That's right. I forgot that when the next chapter starts, I'm not automatically back in Rogue Port, So I can at least uh, give me a chance to run around and talk to people. Oh, dude, I'm so bad. I'm so happy that King K is not dead! Oh, is that right? Oh, so you plan to travel? I wish to ask you to consider being Bub's tutor, but alas. Oh, uh, yeah, fuck no, yuck. Your kids are spoiled piece of shit, and so are all of you. Don't hurt, I see. No, oh, you're leaving. Everyone has their reasons, that is the way of things. But hear me, we do as I expect the same caliber of thrashings. Were you even in the audience at any point? It seems like you just stood here the entire time. So, are you gonna give up the chance belt now, or what? Can I have it? I told Dad to buy it for me, but he said you can't buy a championship. What the fuck? Greatest fighter ever, the man, Craig Gonzalez. You gotta fight again. I wait for you to come, come back till the end of time. I decided, life's too short. Forget this air sickness. I'm right that blip. But I'm still nervous. I mean, you can't get off along the way. Are there parachutes? <laughs> <laughs> no, you just, you just stay in the air forever. I used to try to trick people into thinking I could tell their fortunes. I'd be like, dark clouds are amassing on the horizon. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> hey, I think it's a new one. The weather in Glissville today will be sunny with a chance of more sun. It's above the clouds, stupid. <laughs> Have you ever a fire spot? Someday you'll realize it's tough to fight forever. Not for me, though. I'm too used to murder and pillaging. Yeah, yeah, thank you, buddy. Since you're running to the top, this has been booming. Look forward to the day you make him dry. Come back, big guy. Ah, oh, damn. I was hoping I see Jolene dressed up in her hot outfit over here. Hey, Disco Stew disappeared. If you have the picture, Rock Alk will rain again. I'll bend on him. Sure, whatever. Hey, what's shaking, champ? Can't believe you aren't going to be in the pit anymore. I love you! Champion, I mean, Boba Champion, because I was why'd you give up the belt? If giving up the belt is like a water slide, what kind of swim trucks do you wear? <laughs> well, hold up for a champ. Uh, 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 flesh out. Oh, what happened with these two? Look at the glitz pit. There's a guy over there who gets paid to say that, right? If he doesn't feel the same, it's gonna get weird here. But I have to tell him. I sigh. I sigh just thinking about him. Do it. Fucking do it. I swear to God, by the end of this game, they better be making out. Fuck it. Welcome to the dog glitz pit. I bit my stupid tongue. No, I'm, no, myself. 
Oh, he quit being the champion? Is that why? Truly? I guess I have to wait for the comeback. I did it. I'm gonna be a fighter I grow up. Yeah! No way I can carry out the fight after you're gone, but great mustache, if you really quit fighting, I love you. Well, great Yosha, the ring will, will miss you. I'm so glad that I met you. Yosha! Oh, wait. Is he gonna say something different depending on who's here? Oh, great Gonzalez, the ring will miss you. I'm so glad I met you. Oh! He did, he said it based on. Wait. I was worried it didn't say anything for them. Oh, funny. He does it for just Yoshi. Or Yosha, I mean. I'm okay at any time and let me back in. Uh, this, this woman. Hello there, you savage, surly stutter. You, your fabulous dear. Pardon me, you could be the champion. Whatever for, what a shame. I was about to fuck you right where you stood. But friend, I have no need for you anymore. So I'll buy some new champion. Don't you worry, too. Huh, I can't go back in here, though. I guess I have to leave and come back in order to go back in. Oh, wait, did I check out in the lobby here? For like. There's a spot today. Did, did I get this already? Oh, I didn't. No. Hey. I only need one more. Oh, you see Jolene up there now commentating. That's cool. Freelance cameraman here. Because I was a former champ. Give me the inside scoop. Shoot fire if you eat a flower. That's sick. No one's going to believe that. Nah, I can't do that in this game for whatever reason. I keep trying, but all it does is burn the inside of my mouth now. Huh. It's interesting. I, I'm sure I can get back there, but it's weird that they don't let you go back into the locker rooms right now. I, I think you must... I'm guessing you have to leave and then come back, which is kind of, which is a little annoying. I want to do one quick run through to make sure I didn't miss anything. Ah, right, well, I got all the items that I, uh, I think I need for whatever quest is coming up too. So, hey there, get the fuck on the board, baby. All right, let's go. All right, up we go. We're gonna watch ourselves slowly go back. Ah, right, let's go ahead and speed this up. Wee! There we go. Okay, now I'm curious. Now, if I go back, will I just be able to go in there? This is why having, why having a turbo button is so great. Oh, yeah, it's Chan. You're Greg's office, right? I don't know if you know this. Miss Jolene's the fight promoter now. If you're business with her, head down the hallway to the Murrow's office, okay? Oh, your playmate come back, because that'd be so awesome. Yes, there we go. Thank you. Okay, now I can get back in here. Where? Why is it? All right, that was it. They should just let you be able to walk back in here, honestly. What, I can't go back? I can't go in the minor league room? Yeah. I've got all the shit out of there then, right? Plus, great. Got a new promoter, Miss Jolene, right? Right inside. Hey, what's up? Yes, yes, who is it? Does the guest made a knock for entering? Oh, why? Well, it's the Greg Gonzalez. It's been too long. Not really. I le I just left and came back, and now everybody acts like I've been gone for three years. How have you been? I must tell you, we've seen a big drop off in attendance since you, re since you returned the belt. I was a touch worried. My financials didn't look too good for a while, but... Luckily, Rockhawk made a dramatic comeback and is the reigning supreme again. Yes, it's been a whirlwind of activity every day since I became a promoter. Wait just a moment, are you back to fight? Greg Gonzalez's return? You must be, right? Yes, yes, you must be. Come on, tell me it's true. Okay, sure. What? You want to retire in battle again? <laughs> I always knew this day would come. Oh, am I have to start from the fucking bottom again? Let me just find your old registration so we can... Huh? Oh, ouch. I'm so sorry, but all your records you seem to be gone. Are you kidding me? It's only after Sally to start you in the minor leagues again. Sorry. No, not again. Sorry for the rules. Get better than me for next champ. Oh, my God. I'll just go ahead and put you on a minor league fighter again, then. When you want to fight, know the deal. Use the locker room communicator. I want to be going over the arena, going over the arena, arena rules again, of course. Bye for now. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow, so you actually can go through it all again if you want. Oh, hey, I stop it. Yes! Give me 15, bitch! How about this one? Nope, nothing that one. This was because I was very busy these days. My purse is not easy. Oh, my God. I don't know if there's a point to doing this or not. Just, just with funsies. Are the fighters any different? It's probably not. It's probably the exact same fighters you did the first time. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> Here we go again, right? What's up, dog? Good to see you again, final man, for real. Me, I am retired. Let's write this joint. Let's do it again. Master Crash? Gonzalez is back. Bob. It's an hour to Bob fight in the same arena again. Bob. 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 Great. Mustache better than Cleftor when Cleftor was mustache stage. Hey, how are you, Gonzalez? You look pretty good. Glad to see you. I love you. I guess you probably have to also do, like, uh, what you did before, right? Where. 
got fulfilled condition and everything. I, I imagine that disappeared. Um, yeah. Oh my God. You got to redo it all again. I don't know if there's a point to doing this or not. All right, let's see what my new move is. Um, power lift. Really, briefly increase your party's attack and defense defense power. Ooh, sick. My whole party, so not just me. That's nice. Guy costs three SP. That's a doozy. I, I think I'm gonna pass on this for now. I mean, I don't know if there's really a point to doing this. Right now, I think I'm good. You guys can tell me there's a point to redoing this or not. For right now, I think I'm just gonna move on because we're really just fighting the exact same guys I've already fought. All right, we're back. We had a fun adventure, became Tony Champions, Gods of the World. Now I can move out more quickly. Uh, Mario, you gonna pick? Okay, shut up, and I'm listening to my favorite ringtone. This thing's amazing. Salus, so, got an email. Who the dicks could this be? Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. Ah, oh, shit, this bitch again. These things, the Exnos, they're planning to take the control of the world. It's to, to that end that they're searching for the crystal stars. I still don't know what the cr crystal stars do, but you must try to get them all. I will gather what information I can. Princess Peach. Yeah, tell me something I don't fucking know already, princess. Those dudes want to rule the world? That would stink. That'd be a real doozy. Yeah, no shit. Oh, actually, I just sort of I realized something. I think I, I know an area where I can go now that I couldn't before. I think it's, for example, this spot over here. Uh, yep. And now I can get this. And we can power you up. Got this here. Can I... Oh, that doesn't do anything. What about this room? To Twilight Town? Uh, excuse me? Are we running to Roxas here? <laughs> Twilight Town! Uh, do I even want to know? What? The pipe projected you? Well, fuck you too! I didn't want to go down there anyway. I didn't want to see Roxas anyway. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Now we're on this side. See if I can make this over without falling into a pit of death. Ugh. Ugh. Give me that star piece. Okay. That's kind of how I figured this pipe went. Oh. What's happening? Effect of the curse says... Oh, increase how much money I got. Neat. And that wasn't really a whole lot of money to begin with. God damn it, these fucking... Oh, God, it's Luigi. Oh, God. What the fuck? Is that a cherry bomb? Oh, Lord. Uh, I don't know if my voice is ready for this shit. Uh, hold on, Luigi. Let me, uh... Uh, oh, God. Uh, my email? Who the fuck is it now? Pine T Jr. Dad's job. Hey, you know you know what? My daddy found a new job. He takes care of Boo Boo in Toad Town. He's all recharged now. I'm not... I'm still not as good at studying, but I'm trying so I can help my daddy. I don't know what I can do to help daddy yet, but I'm gonna study lots until I figure out something out, something out okay? We'll see ya from Pine Tea. Oh, that's the guy that I, I, I think I helped in the, uh, the hundred trials or whatever, right? He's looking for his dad. God, Luigi, what the, what did you do now? What did you fucking do? Well, I got my second piece of the marvelous compass at the Plump Belly Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one. I tell you what, it was pretty wild, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Oh boy. I guess. Sounds good to me. What spot you want to hear? Oh boy, Plump Belly Village. All right. This time we're going to talk to Luigi first before talking to the cherry bomb over here. Oh, Lord. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. So once we made landfall at the Strudel Continent, we made for Plump Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the man that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Heza. He said his own daughter was going to be offered up as a sacrifice to the beast. Uh, yeah, really? Yeah, so it's... Uh, yeah, so, it's, so, of course, being heroic, I offered myself to go in her stead. Brave, huh? Now the custom was for sacrifices to be dressed as brides, so I got all dolled up. And I was one hard sacrifice, bro. I looked so good, I full of force and got in his lair. 
It was a total cloud strife moment. It was so hot. And it was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. She found really chase, bro. Oh, my God. I finally found Isa and the snake had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. It reared off things bare to attack, and at that moment, I definitely lunged left. His gap and mouth smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. A shining play fell down on the spot where his body had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it in a point of ease to Circuit Bank Island. Just as I was about to leave the town, the man asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it. She was sort of cute. But we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess and Claire from the Chestnut King. That's my true love. We all know that. We ship. Everybody ships me with her. And when the marvelous compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess and Claire's voice. My heart began to race. That's how I realized Princess and Claire. I think I. Oh, I couldn't have zoned out there. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we should sail again after ditching town. And somehow we managed to get back here to Port Robot, and here I am. We didn't even mention the cherry bomb guy behind you. Hi, I guess. I'm Jerry. I'm a, I'm a bomb from Plump Hill Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry, I still sit down, but me too if you saw Luigi dressed as a bride. I'm serious. It scarred me. It was honestly scarier than the giant snake thing. <laughs> I feel I now have a moral duty to stop Luigi from ever dressing up as a bride again. I have to protect the world from my fate. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. <laughs> you didn't even get mentioned in uh, Luigi's story, though. The jellyfish guy did. He just, I guess, was just taking out, watching him from afar. I like his design, actually. It's like the fact that he is, like, he is a cherry bomb. Wow. Coops, help! <laughs> He's like stuck on the other side, then they don't come back. Huh. So I am. I'm trying to actually hold it. If I hold it, he bounces back. If I don't hold it, wait, it's a little finicky, actually. I'm, I have a feeling that's not supposed to actually be doing that. <laughs> Weird. I don't know what's up with that. Is that just like a fucked up texture or is it actually supposed to be like a hole in the wall? Like sometimes he goes through it, sometimes he doesn't, but it doesn't really seem to serve any purpose. That was weird. All right, big beard guy. What, what do you got this time? Mega rush. Pre Attack power by five when Mario's in peril. Jesus. Uh, oh, wait. Actually, I think I have this move already. Oh, he's got a double emblem back. Uh, oh, I, I still need 110 coins. Make Mario sluggish so he can no longer run. Why would I want that? Uh, Double the... Yes, double the... Okay. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. This guy's still here. Is he left yet? Actually, oh, fucking hell. He's still, he still hasn't even left yet. Dude, get out of here! Get out of here! Come back and give me my money back! Oh, can I get this now? This chest? Maybe? Uh, actually, no, I don't think I can. Ah, right, let's go ahead and power up your shot. Hey, what's up? I foresaw you, you coming here and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, who, who do you want to power up? Shazibi! Zubi! <laughs> wow, I feel the power get flowing into me. Ah! Yeah! Cool. All right, that knocked him up to 20 HP. That's that's more like it. Okay. Uh, mini egg. Uh, throw eggs at enemies to shrink them to tiny size. Ooh, that's cool. So it gives them the tiny stats effect. Nice. Very cool. Okay, and now let's go grab a uh, uh, power-up badge for uh, Mario here. Well, hey, fella. It's your boy, Dazzle. All right, power plus mine. And with that, I think I've got almost everything that is useful with it from this guy for the most part. Drop FPs when your party attacks by one. Well, I guess that's pretty good, too. So decrease how much FP you need to use. I think it definitely be pretty good. This is useless. Be feel more hearts appear. I guess I those, these can be fairly useful, I guess, but items, I don't know if I really need that. They're, they're restoring stuff, maybe, but yeah. Is this the only guy I can trade shards with, I think about it? can't remember if there was somebody else. And see, there's a grand total of 100 shards in the game, right? Anyway, I'm going to have to build more BP before I can use that other one anyway. All right, let's go check the board over, over here. Uh, whoops. Rookie, the great Gonzalez takes Glispit by storm. An upset on the way? 
Yeah, it seems like until I've if I've gone and done the thousand year door, right? It's gonna keep basically whatever the whatever the message was. I think when I started the chapter, right? And then once I get the uh, the next uh, star piece or where I need to go next, then it switches to whatever the end quote is. Um, graffiti corner. Rockhawk may be strong, but he's no Prince Mush, is he? No, he's not. A fighting fan. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and uh, check out what we got on the in the trouble center here. How many more new quests we got? Is it like three again? Yep. Ah, uh, Jolie, what the fuck? Merle and Bub Ober. Oh, the food I want. This is totally the one you guys were. Let's go ahead and just do this. I have a bad craving for a certain food item. Could you fetch it for me? Please meet me in Petalburg. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get this one out of the way. It's gotta be the one you guys told me about. All right, let's go stop by the shop, grab my hot dog, and we'll head over there. All right. Uh, what's this with Balba? Oh, this guy. Well, I'm good day to you. I am Bubba. You can came here after hearing my request, Greg. Oh, I'm so happy. Downtown to be an asshole. I can already see why this would be a pain in the ass. Well, I can ask you to bring me a hot dog. Yes, hot dogs, what I desire. It's going to be spicy, but I've never experienced spices all my life. So I'm saying they're so glitzful. Please go get, get one for me if you can. To bring something. Hot dog. So hot dog, I'm going to go ahead and right, right ahead and try it. Mm, oh, no, it's hot, 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 hot. Oh, so spicy. Oh, spicy is quite interesting. It makes me crave more of it. Just give me one more hot. Oh my God. Wow. Holy shit. Thank you guys for telling me that. Wow. This is really a douchey fucking side quest. Wow. Wow. So it's, e it's even worse. That in Russ was actually not even in Rogueport. They had, you took it. You have to, you have to go all the way to Petalburg, which means you now have to go all the way back through Rogueport, back to the port, back to the blimp, on the blimp, grab the hot dog, come back. And then he's like, oh, I want you to go do it again. What a dickhead. I would appreciate it. Oh my God. What a fucking asshole. I'll have another one. Another hot dog. I've dreamed of this. I should have already been like, blah, 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 blah. spicy hotness. Ah, hot. My God, it was possibly good. Good grace of sweating with pleasure. It's better spicy with spicy rather than just spicy. By the way, I know this is rather rude, but I love chasing that with a sweet. Sweets are the spice of my life. Okay, bugger, bugger, bugger. Get me. Cook some cake mix? Yes, moose cake. All right, take the moose cake and get the fuck out of here. Yup, oh, good gracious. Uh, I don't mean to matter. I just wanted to be spoiled by others. May I was so selfish because, well, because it's such a peaceful place. I crave peace, love, and food. I'm sure it's it. Anyway, let me show my gratitude. 10 bucks. <laughs> Dry bouquet. Beautiful flowers made by Bobober. Replace this one. What the fuck is this shit? I'm growing these dried bouquets lately. If you want more, just bring me another hot dog. I'm guessing I can cook this or something. I better be. You need another dry bouquet? Well, yes, I do. Well, then I'm gonna need another motherfucking hot dog. Oh, uh, wow. Wow. Yeah, that was a real fa fat trade. I I've gotta be able to cook this, right? Better cook it as something fucking amazing. I just gave my cake mix. I just gave my moose cake that I, that I had to cook for like, what? Give me like 15 HP or something. It was real good. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. That was amazing. I actually hopped on. I actually bonked him on the head when I went to hop on top of Yoshi. Shit, the circle button. Wow. That was, a, that was interesting. That still counted as a jump. And I got the struck first. But how about that? All right, let's get the fuck out of here. I do really wish that the uh, enemies just like stopped following you after a certain level or they ran away from you like they did in Persona. Ah! <laughs> That'd be real nice. Cause seriously, these guys should not want this. All right. They should not want this beat down so badly. Okay. Uh, Merle, a heartful cake recipe. I want to make a heartful cake, but forgot the recipe for Mario's sake. I have to keep my shop open. So can, can you find the recipe? I'm hoping. I first learned the recipe from Tose T. Yes, over in Petalburg. Oh, for fuck's sake. Maybe go back there again. I do really wish also you could you could carry more than one trouble with you. Uh, please be in Charmer's up beneath Rogueport. Uh, okay, so over here. Is that you? No, you're Dazzle. I'm a Dazzle, bitch. Does she remember my name by now? Or was it you? Oh, welcome, Mario. If you wish me to look at the item you seek, uh... Oh, uh, okay. Wait, wait. Kabala, who the hell is this bitch? That's Maruvali! Kind of a serious as you expect. Survival's location of things are where we should go. People say she's always right. And the station's really cute under that veil. There's some people even fall for it. Like me, I love it. 
Okay, it must be the other one then. I really must know how to pick a yummy, tasty hotful cake. To Pedalbug, you must go ask to Tosi Tio, she knows. Oh, okay. That's just, that's it. I thought she told me that because I first I need to meet her and then go do it. Okay, well, never mind. I guess we'll just go right there then. Back we go. All right, which one's Tosi T? Oh my God, this fucking kid. Black Pepper, I thought you do it like crazy lately. What's your first? That game is awesome. I just beat every chapter. Still a cool ending. I loved it. So with the money, think there'll be a sequel. If not, I hope to make a Paper Luigi game. Yeah, that'd be awesome too. Yeah. Take it up with the Nintendo. Nintendo? Huh, I'm driven by I lost all my hopes and dreams. Is there any part of my character yet? Is he gonna play into something? I don't know. I just don't know. Hello, Princess Peach Man. God damn it. Tose T, what is that? What kind of character would that be? Would that be a shroom guy? Or a toad or whatever? Somebody else? I am nervous every time I fucking walk across water. Ah, yeah, so might as well check in with Coops' dad. Right where it is you go, son. Just know that your old Coop, Coop is rooting for you. Coops, I know you can do it. Just prove yourself. And then hurry home to me. Sure, whatever. I'm already over you. I'm in love with Miss Ma Miss Mouse. And so yeah, it does. They it does change sometimes. Like this now I'm talking with Yoshi. And it's like Hope Coops is doing well. I'm awfully worried. Take care of young Coops, will you, Mario? Look forward to the day my boy comes home, uh, becomes a full-grown Koopa. That's cool. So it, it is sometimes that the uh, dialogue changes. Hey, Mario, Luigi's older brother, right? So cool. I mean, you're cool too and all, but I just think Luigi's the greatest. Fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, who am I talking to? Oh, here we go. Yes, hello, I'm Tosi T. Do you need something? Well, you want to make a heartfelt cake? Who asked you, Merle? Let's see, I know you need cake mix and ruin powder. T, I wonder who Merle is making it for this time. Cake mix and ruin pow powder. Do I just tell her that, or do I have to make it for her? I don't even think I have ruin powder. Yeah, I don't think I've come across that. Okay. So, did you find the recipe for a heartfelt cake for a little old me? Blah, 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 blah. I remember now. That's right, of course. Wow. Oh no, what shall I do? I have no cake mix. Boo hoo. And I can't leave my shop here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hey, Tasper, could you please please some cake mix? I'm on my knees. Fine, whatever, lady. Sort of guy, if I come over here and she's like, oh wait, but I can't cook it either. Now you gotta go cook it. Now I'm gonna stab somebody. Oh, your nanny be honest, I'm at home for you, okay, Mario? Sure, whatever, thanks. Oh, that's right, get me. Oh, that's right, I forgot about this. I didn't even try this yet. Okay, I play the mini game you can play with the members car. How exciting. Can now play paper game. Cool. Uh, all right. Uh, anything new? Oh, you do. You have. Uh, I can get three gold bars. I wonder if that'd be frugal to to get 234 pianta, spend it on that, and then settle for some amount. Maybe. Um, I think HP plus P might be new as well. Oh, I can get another multi bounce. That that was that's definitely new. And another power smash. All right, for right now, let's go ahead and get. The fucking kick. Okay, just for funsies, let's try the uh, the paper game. Oh shit, she just read the rules. Uh, paper game. What do I do? Oh shit, am I running people? Ah, oh my God, this is some fucking Fall Guys shit, right? I need to read the rules. Okay, paper game. In this game, you have to get paper thin to avoid the wind and get to the finish. If you don't turn paper thin as soon as the wind starts blowing, you'll get blown away. If you fall fall off the track, you'll lose. The higher you, you place, the more piantas you win. They're also supposed to associate with your place. So fish as quickly as possible. The quickest way to get to the end is to choose paths. They don't require jumping. Ah, uh, okay. All right. All right, let's give it a try. I guess how I fell off there. I was like, wait, how, what, what happened? Holy shit. They sure take a while to show you this fucking track though, don't they? Yeah, I see. I see. Blowing downwards in a downward direction. Yeah, okay. The numbers just tell me what place I'm in. That's all I really need to be worrying about here. Ah! 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 I think the direction it blows changes as well. Yeah, science is blowing upward, science is blowing downward. Oh, uh, eat my ass! How many does that give me? 15. Plus an uh, extra 5. Alright. Yeah, this looks definitely maybe a bit more reliable than the uh, 
the other way. Oh, I just realized Luigi and uh, uh, Coop's girlfriend are here as well. <laughs> That's funny. See, Fall, fall Guys, they, they copied, they, they copied uh, Paper Mario, clearly. This is this is actually the first real Battle Royale game. <laughs> I think I might do this for a little bit just to get a few more Piantas. Might save, save up for some stuff or something. So it seems like at most I can probably just get 20, right? So that means I get, I get a profit of 10 every time. I guess it's all right. It, I think you could potentially get more profit with the paper one, but it's a lot less likely, right? Uh, that's good for now. I don't know if I've actually really bought many or maybe even any uh, badges from the badge shop. This is just, uh, it's just a regular item shop. Um, I don't know if there's anything there that I should be trying to aim for here. I think, oh no, there is one. You guys told me uh, the, the one that pierces defenses is a pretty good one to get. I mean, we do have the, the quake hammer, which hits everybody, but maybe one of these other ones would work better. I think we actually have some new stuff here. FP drain. Drop Mario's attack power by one, but regain one FP per attack. Huh, interesting. Uh, happy flower. Yeah, this one. Piercing blow that pierces enemies' defenses. Da 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 D unit! So we got one that increases power by two when he's in danger. So that's when you're down to like five HP, right? And then perils when you're down to like one or two HP. Um, ice smash. Excuse superbly to freeze a foe into a immobility. Mm hmm. Okay, that's pretty good. First attack. Do a first strike to defeat weak foes without. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, thank fuck. They actually do have something like this in this game. Holy shit. Yes. All of my yes. One BP to use. Yes. Just, just take my fucking money. Oh, fucking hell. Yes. Thank God. Just cost one BP though, which means I'm gonna have to unequip something. Okay, this one's 52. Cost one P BP to use, sure. Okay, I get rid of soft stomp. Give me that fucking first attack. That's like my, my might take off if in later areas, I'm still considered too strong, right? For uh, any enemies, because I still need to scan them. So this requires two FP to use. Steals damage to a piercing, piercing enemies attack. Uh, and this one requires three. So, okay. As long as it's, it was less than what the Quake Hammer, then it was still worth getting. If it ended up being the same as Quake Hammer, then yeah, it'd be like fucking no point to it. Because I can't even hit flying enemies with a, uh, a hammer anyway. Alright, uh, let's go take the cake mix to, uh, to the fortune teller. You know what? While I'm fucking at it. No, no, don't hit me. Ah! Fucking goddamn it! It's hard to get a, a first hit on a guy when it with a hammer. It's more so fucking slow about turning around. Yeah, fuck you. Sweet. Okay, it didn't actually give me any experience though, so it's really more just to get them out of your stupid way. But it's fine, I'll take it. I think an even better one would just be that they ran away from you, but whatever. I'll take what I can get. Have kick mix for me? Do you have it? Let me see. Take it. Thank you, you're the best. You passed my trouble test. Can I make a cake without a cake mix, right? No doubt. As you make a half full cake, mix ruin powder well to make the cake make cake mix properly back. Go and make it tonight. You'll be out of sight. Then I'll charm someone, right? Thanks so much to you, dear. Here's your reward. 30 coins. All right. I'll take it. I wonder if I've run out of her fortune juice yet. <gasps> I saw a dude up there. Hey, I see you, sir. Sir, what are you doing in the roof of my house? Okay, last trouble. Jolene! Uh, I need some cleaning done, motivated workers only. Please meet me in the glitz pit. Ah, oh, goddamn, I have to clean the toilet or something. Actually, before I leave, something just kind of hit me. I might be able to, might be able to, maybe? Uh-oh. God damn it. Oh, Nibbles, I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, God. I don't, uh... There's a sun sprite over there. Okay, we gotta try that again. Uh, no. I don't think I can. Like I just, it's, it's because of the way this thing's shaped. I probably could reach it if, maybe. God damn it, I'm gonna fucking regret this. All right, Nibbles, I'm gonna see you again in a second, probably. Ah! Didn't even get a jump off. <sighs> okay, come on, come on. No, it's too far. Piece of shit. Is there anywhere else I can go then? 
with uh, Yost's ability that I haven't been to. That for sure, that'd be it. Actually, no, I guess it makes more sense that this looks like it's gonna. I'm gonna get the ability to turn to a boat, right? But I can only dock. I probably at other platforms like this, so I still wouldn't be able to get across this. Ah, ah wait. I'm sure, it's not like some some sicker bullshit here. One more time. Oh, I made it! Oh, barely. Jesus. Okay, it is actually possible. It seemed like like you just have to be in that just the right spot. Is that also over here? Just the sun sprite. Thing. Blow on here. Okay, now I gotta get back. I guess it should actually be a little easier. Yeah, there we go. Hey. What's up? It's your boy, Darkly. I like them dim, dank places. Huh? You say this town's an underground part to it and I should go there? Yeah, dark and dank down there a bit. But I have to walk out in the sun, so no. Dude, it's, it's you're in the sun right now, you idiot. <gasps> oh, hey, I can do this, I think. Oh, God. It's a little too little close for comfort for me, but oh, hey, baby. There's a spot I can go to now. Hang up here. Actually, I might be able to get to that dude though, I just saw. Oh, I got, I got, I got, I got. I think I see a, yes, that, that's the star piece actually I was seeing before. <gasps> Sun Sprite. Uh oh, uh oh, ah, ah shit. Why is it always gotta be over water when I do this shit? Ah. Booyah, bitch. All right, cool, I've already got Give me two, right? Yeah, only one more for whoever my next party member ends up being. Hello there, kind shrew. Good afternoon to you, sir. I'm called Grifty, the traveling minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure, spinning tales of spin the senses. I know but a few stories that surround the town of Rugport. If you like, I can share them with you, but it will require just a few coins. So tell you want to hear, these are the tales I can tell you now. The Fearsome Demon, The Hero Who Arose, The Wise Goomba, The Stalwart Koopa, The Four Heroes. Uh, okay. The Fearsome Demon. Let me five coins. It's just the fearsome ta the de tale of the fearsome demon. Okay, fine. Ages ago, a city flourished here in peace and splendor, but it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from the dark beyond. Historians claim a great calamity befell the city, but nay, it was a demon. The city sank below the ground, and one quarter of the old city became the demon's den. This demon put fear into the hearts of all men and sent out minions to take the land. And its den, its palace, grew rich with the treasure stolen from all over the world. If there is another tale you wish to ask, just to hear, just ask. Is that a reference to the Thousand Year Door? Like, is that like his treasure place or something? Oh, so I can, and I can re listen to it whenever I want. Cool. Uh, the hero who arose. One day there came a hero who could vanquish the fell, the fell demon. The young toad from Petal Meadows was strong of arm, but shy of voice. All those around the boy teased him endlessly about the way he spoke. But when the demon cast his fearful gaze across the lands and reached out, the young toad used his strength and, and honor to defend his people. And he became a hero to all by his odd voice. There's another tale you wish to hear, just ask. The wise Goomba. For me if I coins, okay? There was a wise Goomba from Bogley Woods, gifted in the knowledge of the world. Oh, okay. So it's like, I'm like, is this is the same? No, it's not quite the same as us, but it's similar. When beasts rose to take the woods, this knowledge helped the people fight them. And this Goomba, who knew the way that every monster would attack, she began to think of a way to banish all monsters from the land. If there's another tale, okay. Stalwart. Koopa. A Koopa who traveled the world alone learned of the darkness covering the land. He went alone, wherever evil dwelt, and banished it with the sh with shell and sheer bravado. The monsters grew to fear the scar-riddled Koopa, who thwarted them at every turn. But the brave Koopa was finally taken in a trap set for him by the monsters. But then a boo who fought with the monsters came and used her match to free him. The brave Koopa's spirit had melted the heart of the old cold boo lass. Okay, and then four heroes. Boo used her powerful match to learn more about the evil they faced. We cannot destroy this darkness alone, she decided, her face a grim mask. We need the toad hero of Petal Meadows and the wise Goomba of Boggly Woods. The boost magic drew the four heroes together to send the demon from the world. And so the four heroes finally set out for the Palace of Shadow. Mmm. Cool. Okay. Neat. So at the start of the game, I don't think they mentioned a demon. I think it's just said a calamity fell, so it's like some kind of demon. And I'm guessing... The Crystal Star is like somewhere related to the treasure? Or is the treasure... 
stored away in the thousand year door or something. So there actually is like potentially some treasure down there. Whee! Maybe. Uh, okay. Now we're going to Jolene. Oh, hey, Starface is behind this. I didn't even see it. Holy shit. I was just like turboing over here and then just like, oh God. Yo, what's up, Jolene? You accept that quest? Well, fantastic. Let's get down to business. I need you to clean out the garbage in the storeroom. Can't get anywhere near it. I have a problem with garbage. I don't talk about it. Just put it somewhere I can't see it, all right? <laughs> okay. Also, don't spy on me from up there. I know it's, I know there's a hole in the ceiling. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay, how do I get to the storeroom again? Oh, that's right, it's over here. What the fuck? Battle trunks. Trunks some wrestlers wore for to tatters. Boy, they stink. Oh my God. Oh, oh God. Oh, 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 oh. The flies. Ugh, ugh. What the hell do I do with them? Are they, do I, can I equip them? Uh, oh, oh my God. Important things. These are very important, apparently. Ew, gross. Whose battle trunks are these? Ugh. Ugh, ugh. Anything over on this side? <laughs> QK's back here. Ah, oh, I died again. God damn it, QK, stop dying on me. Uh, okay, I think that might be it. I'll check the vent, though, just in case. Uh, anything up here? Jolene, I see you. I know you do. I'm just standing here. Not doing anything lewd and rude. Thank God. <laughs> I wouldn't even put it past this game anymore, though, to be perfectly honest. They almost killed King K. They thought about it. Okay, I got your pants. You smell terrible. Oh, no. You still don't have that garbage on you, do you? You have to take that stuff away from here. I can't stand it. No a Goomba named Goombafree and Groveport that buys stuff like that. Oh, okay. buy stuff? What? He buys smelly undergarments? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I've already got in touch with him, so just get in that trash out of here. Ah, shit. Do so I have to go all the way there and then run all the way back? Oh, you piece of shit. I think they make it a little easier to get around, like, add, like, a, an actual, like, way portal, you know? That just tel quickly teleports me here and doesn't, uh, require writing a blimp. To run down the sewers and jumping in the pipe or whatever. Uh, I think that's one of the, one of the goomas in the back alley, right? Who's always like, yeah, I'm a wanted criminal. I'm always doing some crazy shit. Blah, 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 blah. I helped him hide a dead body one time or something. Ah, uh, this dude. You say I tell a wanted goomba. Yeah, not him. These guys? No, no, I'll teach you about some shit. They'll go find that star smooths and blah, 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 blah. God damn it, there's too many goombas in this place. They're like a fucking saint. Oh, fuck, where is he? Oh, you? Uh, I started, uh, yeah, I spoke to Jolene. Now, who was it that she wanted to take care of? <laughs> no, not that, not that. Not who? What? Oh, uh, well, fine. Let's get done. So, what are we doing here? Take my, take my trunks. Still some left. Still some left. Okay, that's going to take a while. <laughs> yeah, one at a time. That's right. Yeah, pour the, pour the sweaty fucking battle trunks all over my naked body. Yeah, that's right, I'm naked. It's like every other Goomba in this game, yeah. Just opened your eyes, didn't I? Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Ah, right, here we go. Make sure you get dust paid for this man. I didn't read that because I was going through so fast. We're in the city of Sky, cool. Bad place, so glitzy, full action. It's a fun spot, definitely. Ah, oh, goddammit, I do have to go back. Well, she, could, she just could have given the money and I left with the fucking trousers. And I did your stupid bullshit. Now, where's my money? Clear it all up. Well, here's your reward. You have my gratitude. 30 fucking coins. Great. I guess we won't be getting the smell out of that room anytime soon. Ah, thank fuck. Please, Mr. Gonzalez, we're very busy. Get the fucking dicks out of my office. Well, fine. Be that way, Jolene. Should have left your brother a stupid die. Oh, wow. I can only enter that room if you called him by Mr. Jolene. Good thing I grabbed that, uh, that, uh, star piece, then. Okay, I think we've pretty much done everything there is to do. I mean, I guess I could redo this shit, but I don't really want to. <laughs> You guys can tell me if it's worth doing, and if it is, then I'll probably do it off screen because it's just the same thing again, right? It, we're not doing anything new. Which I, I do, if they, I, I do kind of wish if they made you do it again that they, I don't know, changed up the enemies. I, I know that would have been a lot of work or something, but come on, just throw some other generic enemies in there. Have me talk to them and have a have a bonding moment. All right, let's go ahead and head over to uh, Thousand Year Door and uh, get that going. <gasps> oh, hey, that's right, I can do this shit now. Uh, uh. What we got over here? Anything? Oh! Fast 
travel. Neat! Just a quick way to get back here. Cool. Okay. There's actually some more blocks down here now I think about it. I, it's not just it's not just Yosha's ability, it's also my hammer ability. When I do this, it's gonna transport me back to the beginning again, but that's fine. Alright. Show me the show me the way. Oh! <laughs> I still look surprised, and I will always look surprised to the last one. Ooh! Max, to the last one, Mars is gonna pull out a lawn chair and just chill out and be like, oh, no, I see this shit enough. I know how this goes. I'll wait till I'm just gonna wait till it's finished. All right, where are we going now? More woods? The Ruby Star, maybe. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> ah! Location of Crystal Stars in Mercury on your magical map. Okay. Hey, that's just where the fourth Crystal Star is. Can't that frankly guy read it? That'd be cool, but first we better tell him what Princess Peach's email said, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, get ready for some humming. <laughs> what? Holy fucking dicks, we're all gonna demon die, it's all your fault. I mean, uh, the group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest? Uh-huh, got that right. That's why I was jerks that legendary treasure. Huh, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. But then again, what else would bad guys want, right? It's always world domination. It's never the it's never about money or the the sexy Goomba bitches. No, it's always domination! Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held what held to what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was actually actuality, the great cataclysm. The very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank that town underground. So these jerks think the power of that cataclysm will help them rule the world? Ah, uh, okay, so that's gotta be the demon, right? This is the fucking demon that lives by that lives behind the thousand year door, right? So I'm gonna open up and there's just gonna be some big asshole like, yeah, let's fuck some shit up. I can't say for sure what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now things have come to this. We mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again, this town, no, the entire world could be destroyed. Down with it, Professor. We got to find that, that next crystal star super quick. Huh? According to the map, it appears that the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Holy shit. Twilight Town. Oh, my God. We're going to see Roxas again. Thank fuck. Get the sea salt ice cream and grab your axles. To tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place myself. Myself, only rumors. I've heard that as the name implies is perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. Wait, wait. How do I open these things without my fucking hands? I use my teeth. Aha! There appears to be a pipe to the Twilight Town somewhere in Roadport. I know I came across it earlier. They didn't let me go in there. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? Hey, Professor. Pipe's a no-go. We went in, but we pushed right back out. Oh, cool. Neat. I'm glad I remembered that. What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd. Hmm, I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Oh, of course. I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. Oh, my God. It's going to be darkly. I was just talking to him before, and he was like, tell me there's a damn dank place I can go to do my dim dank shit. All right. <laughs> but then I have to go through the sun. If anybody knows how to get through that pipe, it'll be him. Oh my God, Darkly's actually gonna play into some shit. His name was, uh, Dang. <laughs> dang doodly doodle. <laughs> oh, that's right, Dankly, that's right. <laughs> what was that? Ah, oh, yes, the lover of dark places, Darkly. I've seen him loitering right here in this bar town in the past. Look for Darkly. Okay. You guys told me, by the way, if I ever miss any skins, uh, they would show up in the trash can here, and I think I have, I have yet to have uh, any show up. So I've been I've been doing good. I'm gonna keep it up. God damn it, who the fuck is it now? Uh, Koopa, Koopy Koo. Miss you, dear boy and Koops. Hope you two are doing okay. I haven't met with Koops gone. I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely, and I go to Koops' house, and I smell that Koops smell. <laughs> Ew. Guess what? 
when it, it gets your cologne or whatever, but it makes you so sad. And then I just rub it all over myself. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. I think, this, uh, I think this might be for you. I think you might. <laughs> I'll let you read the rest of this, Coops. Ah, Koopy Q's getting all hot and heavy for me again. Curse me for being blessed with such a sexy bot. I got used to your smell, Coops. Oh, and the thing is, your dad, Koopy, has his own smell, and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. That's disgusting. <laughs> Ew. Now I cross myself out. Oh, and since he's going to be my dad, too, so today I better get used to that smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed. I said this anyway. He <laughs> I could just backspace, but nope. Love, Koopy Q. Oh, my God. You have a weird girlfriend. I know. Trust me, I know. But I'm settling because I will never get any better, better, better than that. Because clearly Miss Mouse loves you instead of me. Okay, before I go talk to Darkly, let me go check out uh, that other area that has some giant blocks I could break. Well, it's nice that they sort of give me a shortcut now, basically, to get back to the uh, uh, thousand year door. Wait, was it over here? Yes, it was. Big button. Oh, yeah! Oh, hey! I can actually get this one. I'll be fully ready to go. Whenever you're my new party member. Uh, what's this thing? It is something. Ah, right, time to do everything until something possibly happens. Well, let's try the. Oh, that's this. There we go. Okay, one and a two. All right, I got two ways to go here. Hopefully, they don't just connect to each other. Boop, boop, boop. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Mother. <laughs> god damn it. Why? Why didn't I fight this earlier? I was going through all those troubles. Well, there you go. There you fucking go. Ask and thou shalt receive. Albeit a bit late. Ah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Motherfucker. I'm so pissed off. So let me guess. This is going to take me probably to the Bogley Woods then, right? Yes, it does. Not that this one really matters much. I mean, I guess it doesn't didn't matter too, too much. It just really mattered for the Petal Bird shit. But I, still, I, I would still have to go on the blimp to get to uh, Glitzville. I mean, to be fair, Glissville is, I mean, it's its attached right to Rogueport. Just the only thing that's fucking annoying about it is they have to ride the blimp, which takes like 30 minutes. Okay, uh, I think this must be, I must need like a bit even bigger hammer, right? Bit, uber hammer. I don't think I can get this shit. Yeah, well, at least I know now that these are basically waypoints and that they exist. Though to be perfectly honest, Getting down here into this waypoint, I don't know how much time that would have saved me. Well, no, it would have it would have a little bit because I still have to walk a ways down here, but then I don't have to start at the left side of Petalburg and walk like three screens, right? Past some enemies. I can just go straight to Petalburg. So it's still it's still yeah, it's still better. And I think that was all that was down here. I don't remember recall any other blocks that I could smash. At least not off the top of my head. Uh, let's go talk to Dankly and uh, head on over to whatever the hell's gonna involve him. All right, Darkly, looks like it's finally your time to shine. Hey, it's your boy Darkly. You guys need something, huh? You wanna know how to get through the pipe to the Twilight Town? Oh yeah, couldn't be easier. Steph, just, just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everybody does. My hat? Does my hat have an M on it? That's close enough, right? Where's Cappy? No, really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write here on the seat of your overalls. Mario, right, right there around your dick. Yeah. Mmm, yeah. There, perfect mundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name too. What's your name? Yasha, baby! <laughs> Yasha! Right there on your ass, crack. <laughs> hey, watch where you're right drawing, buddy. I don't know what Aaron is taking to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Mmm, yeah. Is that we're gonna look like you or something? Good luck. I'm pulling for you, boy. I thought you'd come with me or something. Darkly become my new party member. Wouldn't that be something? I can upgrade him and make him the darkest of Darklies. Instead of dark, he's darklier, now darkliest. Actually, I think about it. I probably, 
if I can automatically kill these guys, I probably could just get a like first strike even on like these guys with spikes. Just oh fuck, just jump on their head. It doesn't matter, right? I'm not gonna actually initiate the fight anyway. I was, I was thinking, oh, I don't want to do that because it'll hurt me, but it might not actually matter. Yep, it does not matter. They will die regardless. Wait, was there anything on this side or was it just the? Yeah, it's just this. Okay. And those probably take me to whatever other world I'm, I'm going to go to, right? That I've yet to see. Just do Koops. That's what I should be doing. It's so much easier to get first strikes with him. <laughs> what do I need your name written on something to be able to go in here? All right. I think we're heading to chapter three now. Ah! For pigs, the bell tolls. For pigs, the bell tolls? That's a very weird chapter name. For pig, pigs, the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. <laughs> sort of. Almost Edgar Allan Poe. Oh my God. What the fuck? Oh, this looks uh depressing. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? <laughs> hey. <laughs> God damn, this place <laughs> is that Wow, Twilight Town's really gone downhill since I last was here. It's been a long time since anyone's come from out outside. You come from far away? Yeah, let's close the yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? It's a bad time to arrive. What wait? But your adventures, hey, it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. Ah, oh, gee whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear, and scary to tell too. Mm. <gasps> oh, I see piggies, and they're actually 3D for some reason. Oh no, the bell rang again. Ah, so awful. Who could it be now? Mm. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Whoa, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weird, weirdo town? Oh, that's, uh, well, there you go. <laughs> okay, now it's starting to make sense. Oh, badness. Now, poor Freddy got turned into a pig. Not good. Let me guess, another old man. Yep. Fucking hell. God, too many old characters in this game. Who are you, Gramps? I'm old character number 84. I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dower. Not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for telling of tales, sadly. Come. Come to my home. Mm, I think I'm just giving everybody here this kind of like emotionless voice. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you, but welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. Oh yeah. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Well, cursed. Yes, cursed. That is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond Twilight Town is a forest. And in its heart is an ancient building, the Creepy Ste Steeple. The Creepy Steepy! The dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains when the steeple bell rings. One of the Twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't have too many people left at this rate. When my loved ones become a swine, will I too become a curly tailed unker? I'm so worried, I can't sleep at night, of course. Night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village would be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. <laughs> Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you two get pig of heart. Not gonna have it, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a star-shaped rock called a crystal star. Uh, I don't know uh, about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Whoa, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. Gotta be. Right, Dad? Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, you people, you aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? Brrrr. 
unthinkable. Yeah, that's just how we kind of do things here. That's just how tiny you are. My, my family and friends have all been turned into pigs. That's not a good thing. <laughs> that, that is a very not good thing. This is the village where we were all born after all. We can't just leave. We can't. Not today. That's Twilight Town Mayor. It doesn't seem too reliable though. <laughs> Guess it's been through a lot though. So am I, maybe I'll cut him some slack. Got anything in your house by the way? Got some shit in here? Bonk. It's Twilight Town. It's a Twilight here, which I guess makes sense, huh? That big moon gives me the heebie-jeebies. Guess the sky here is always the same. No more than noon or night. We're perpetual dusk and a little boy, like born. <laughs> yeah. T t tell him, Roxas. Oh, yeah, it does. Starbase. Pig. Oink. That pig also used to be a Twilight. It's also just so t totally tragic. That's Twilight who got turned to a pig. Do you think that this guy was so gloomy that he's even a gloomy pig? That's crazy, dude. That's Freddy the pig. I mean, Freddy the guy who got turned to a pig. When I think of him having to live like this, I get oinked up. I mean, choked up. God damn it. Damn these puns of mine. All right. Uh, is that a save point? Yes, that is. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Check out this grass now. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, coins. Ugh. Okay. Every bit of grass. Oh, there we go. Okay, guys. Well, this seems like a good place to end things here for now before we get too far into this. But this definitely looks like a nice kind of creepy, very Halloween looking town. And now we're starting to get onto the creepier stuff. Kind of reminds me a bit of like that uh, one game. It was like, what the, like the Harlem Witches or something. That one where it was like a, it's like a flash game where everyone's like a pilgrim. They live in this little town and you have to find who the, the traitor is or something. And then you keep hanging people until you find the real killer or whatever. It was like, it was just like, it was like just called the Harlem Witches or Harlem something. Harlem Globetrotter or something like that. Kind of give me that same vibe here. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe for an already become Piggy Penguin. Boy, this is LP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.